Welcome back to San Antonio Living. Enjoy sips and sweets with your very own tea party, and it's a perfect plan for Mother's Day. Erica Powers is a tea party event planner, and she's joining us to tell us a little bit more. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet Thanks you, Thanks for too. coming in. Thank you for having me. I love this concept. I wish we were more into tea in the United States, so I'm excited that you're doing this. Tell me a little bit about your business and what you guys do. Okay, well, tea parties are so amazing because they can go anywhere for anything. Yeah. I love it. I've been able to incorporate tea for my children, my mom. We all work together, and it works for business. It works for personal, and I love the cultural aspect and bringing it to people that otherwise might not experience a tea party. So fun. So you can bring the tea party to us. If we want to have a party at the house, you can come set it all up for me? Absolutely. I okay. can either come set it up at your home, at your business, if it's for business networking, because it's great for that, too. Okay. Um, or, I, or you can come to the tea room. I love that. You can set up a fantastic party at the tea room. A lot of people don't want to do things at the house, right? So this is your opportunity to set up a memorable event. Fantastic. Okay, so what's the number one thing when we're making tea? What are you going to show me this morning? Okay, so one thing I do always want to point out is green tea gets a bad rap. A lot of people <laughs> think that green tea isn't good because they might not be brewing it right. Okay. So I do have some hot water here while we're talking. Okay. And I want to make sure that you know that when you're brewing your green tea, measurements are important for tea, no matter what kind of tea you're making. Okay. Sometimes people will just stick the tea bag in there and they'll let it sit. But especially with green tea specifically, you'll want to measure your water. You don't want to scorch your leaves. Okay. So a lot of the time people will have it too long sitting in the water or their water is too hot. So I use a regular measurement for my water. Okay. But if you're not going to measure your water, because if you're not crazy about tea like me and everybody's not, then you can just let it sit. Don't do okay. piping hot water. So we on have your green our green tea. tea leaves in here. I do. I have Got green our hot tea water leaves. going in. Yes. And I love using fresh mint Ooh. for my green tea. Fresh okay. mint is so wonderful. It smells, so good. It smells yeah. amazing. So if you don't have fresh mint, you can also use regular mint. Okay. Um, you can brew your green tea for about no more than two minutes. Okay. If you're using fresh leaves. Also, when you use tea bags from the store, a lot of the time they're the leftover parts of the mm -hmm. tea leaves. So I use fresh um, loose, loose leaf, leaf tea. Yep. This is okay. hibiscus tea that we have in here. Okay. And we have our green loose leaf tea here. So, so. we'll let that steep for a second. Yes. Talk about a couple of other things. You also do something super fun. It's called Tea Party in a Box. Tell me about that. So Tea Party in a Box yeah. is if you can't make it to the tea room or if you're not in Texas like we are, I can ship the Tea Party in a Box to so you. So fun. It has absolutely everything you need for a tea party, no matter whether it's a bridal shower, it's business, everything you need, the cups, the plates, everything, the instructions, the activities, all the games, and the tea is included. I make signature special tea recipes nice. like grandma's candy, cake batter bowl, um, a lot of other cool things, fireball, and I have those unique flavors that I put in the box. Did well. you say fireball tea? I did say fireball <laughs> tea, and it tastes Sounds like, like a, a party. I love that. Yes. I, what brought you to tea? Like, how did this start for you? Well, my mom asked me to do a tea party back in 2014 for her grandchildren. I knew nothing about tea. Mm -hmm. uh, we might have had basic tea bags back then, but I learned about tea along the way. And then I went through, uh, years later, I went through a rough divorce and I noticed how healing the tea was sitting at the table with my children. Uh, tea just has healing properties. Warm tea and sunshine, I say, heals just about I anything. I love that, I yes. love that. And then I started opening it to the public to share the healing properties medicinal purposes for tea, the healing of the warm tea, sitting down, the camaraderie, all of that. I think it's great. I think it is fantastic. And thank you so much for sharing this with us yes. this morning. If you are ready to uh, have a little tea party, Erica is doing a special Mother's Day tea. It's happening May 12th at San Antonio Tea Blossom Estate. And we do have a special offer for you. The first five people to get tickets are going to get $5 off with the promo code SA Living. You can scan that QR code right there. For more information, it'll take you straight to the Mother's Day Tea Party. There's all the information for you. It is Tea Parties by Erica Powers. A phone number is on the screen, 210-526-1461. You can also follow Erica on social media as well, Tea Parties by Erica Powers.